inside the perimeter. Sniper's down. Hardpoint compromised. Secure the area. Taking effective fire. There we go. The hell with you. Hardpoint relocated. Secure the target area. Check fire. Or oh, I'll rain hellfire. This is just a good call of duty, bro. I didn't read the challenge again, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 10 kills without receiving damage. I hate you, dude. I hate you. I hate you. Crazy. I'm physically ill. I'm physically ill. Thank you. Oh my gosh, is that gold? Do I get gold now? Please, for the love of God, give me gold, please. I think I got it. I got something, and it didn't fucking show me. I'm backing out. I'm backing out. Give me, give me the fuck out of there. Give me out. Please tell me I fucking unlocked gold, bro. I did, and it didn't even fucking tell me. You are shitting me. It, I got SAE'd. Woo! Where's gold gun, bro? Gold gun. Only... I, I started up at 4 a.m. Four hours later. But I, I leveled up other guns and shit, too. Okay, so to get gold, <laughs> you need 50 kills. And then you need to get 25 hip fire kills. Then you gotta get 10 crouching or sliding kills. And then you gotta get 15 kills with operators affected by your tactical, so stun grenades, right? And then, of course, 10 kills uh, without uh, an enemy damaging you, which is a lot easier than I'm. It, it's supposed to be a lot easier. I'm just dog shit. I fuck with it. I like it. As opposed to just being like a, just a, a bland ass, you know, gold. I like this. Fuck yeah, baby. What do you guys think? Is this camo grind worth it? I think it is just because it's a lot easier than past years. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 really made it simple. And then this, you know, continuing off of that is so nice as well. Anyway, man, if you like what you see, hit that like button. If you want others to see what you like, hit that share button. And if you want to keep seeing what you like, hit that sub button. Other than that, man, just remember to stay thick. <laughs> see ya.